This is FF Comp Help FF. Today I'll be teaching you how to use Adobe Flash CS3. Yes, it's a really complicated program, but when you know how to use it, it's actually quite simple. First, open Adobe Flash CS3. You can either get a trial or you can buy it for $600 or something on Adobe's website. Okay, so now it's opened. Click Flash File Action Script 2.0. Action Script is some kind of script that make you draw stuff or make the frames work. Okay, so this is the timeline, and this is this is a frame. This is a frame. This is a frame, etc. So this is the first frame. Here's what you draw on that frame. Okay, we will first draw a rectangle. Now it's become a little bit gray here. Press F6 to go to the next frame with that still on it, or F7 to go to a new frame, or com a complete new frame. Here we'll do it like this. F6, 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 F7. The more frames you have with the same thing, the longer it gets. I'll show you. So that's actually how it works. So, it becomes more and more complicated. Okay, and I'll show you how to use shape and motion tweens. This is actually something quite interesting. Uh, I'll first show you how to move an object to somewhere else. First, draw something. Press the selector tool. Highlight it. And convert it to a symbol. Make it to a movie clip. Re and we'll call it rectangle. Now it's down here, so you can just take it up or something. But we won't do that right now. Next, click on the 20th frame or 15th, 10th, something, any frame. And we'll press F6. And we will move this over here. Click this. I go here, there's written tween. Click motion. This is how it works. The more frames you add here, the longer it'll take for it to move. Now I'll show you a shape tween. It's a bit more complicated, but it's not that complicated. Uh, this time you don't need to convert to symbol or anything. Just draw something. 20th frame, F7 this time. Draw something else. An oval. And now click it and tween shape. What happens here is the rectangle transforms into the circle. That's actually quite how it works. How it works. That's actually the basics. Now I'll go to a bit more complicated stuff. Okay. For the first thing you want to do is you want to right click the fr first frame or any frame with your actions. We'll write stop. What I'm going to show you now is how to make a button. Yeah, you have to remember these symbols. Okay, when you've done that, we will draw an oval saying, I don't know, click, just click. me uh, that one like this now take the selector tool select it right click it convert it to symbol 
this time click button and we'll call it ball okay when you've done the ball we will press we'll click F7 we'll draw an oval we'll go here F6 Remove it. You know, motion tween. But that cannot happen since this is not a symbol. Sorry, I forgot that. We'll just move it. Done. Okay. When you've converted this to symbol or button, right click it, go to actions. Alright, on release. On release means when you click it. Make this symbol. Enter and go here. We'll write go to and play. That means the if you click it, you go to and play frame number two. Since we have stopped at frame number one, it will look like that until we will stay at that frame until you click the button. Enter again and do this symbol. Uh, this is the code. Okay, then make an animation any kind uh, F6 No, don't want this I'll just draw another circle and we want it to become what? a polystar with I'll just erase this. Make a power star custom. Take this back. I uh, guess I don't remember how to. We'll just draw a power star. We move it here. And this, we don't really care about that. So we'll just erase it. Done. We'll make a shape tween. And how does this look? Hmm. Where if you move it over here? Same same principle. Okay, down here we will go to actions, and we will say go to and play. This time we don't write write on release because we don't really click the frame in the movie. So go to and play frame 2 like this it will continue from the second frame after the frame we stopped it exit this should quite much be it go to file export export movie okay there are different kinds of version of types of export you can export it to anything of all this that's quite nice. Uh, if you export to Windows AV, you can put it on Movie Maker. But everything you've drawn.